Hi there, I'm Lisa Guerrero. I've been with Inside Edition since 2006, and since 2010, I've been the show's chief investigative correspondent. That camera saw you. We found that this bathroom was not thoroughly cleaned. Are you trying to take advantage of young women? We do everything from consumer reports, just like the commercial. I think it's down there. To crimes, to scams. This is my bike and you just stole this bike. But I think the most memorable and probably the most important story that we've covered is the story of justice for Juliet. Do you believe the adults in the house that night must have known what happened to her? They definitely know what happened. A woman named Monica Hall contacted me and she said that her niece, Juliet, had been beaten to death in her own bedroom when she was just a toddler. And there were three adults in that house that night. But unfortunately, the local authorities never charged anybody with that murder, so the case had gone cold. Juliet didn't beat herself to death. Somebody murdered her. I was appalled when I found out that they didn't secure the crime scene immediately and that all three of those adult suspects were allowed to go to different states. So I asked Inside Edition to let me cover this story. Lisa Guerrero and the I Squad tracked down all three suspects to try to find out if one of them got away with murder. We went out to that crime scene and we interviewed Monica Hall, we interviewed law enforcement, and the little girl's mother on camera turned on her ex-boyfriend and accused him of killing her daughter. You believe that Dustin did it? Yeah, I believe that he did it. At the same time that we were conducting our investigation, Monica Hall was collecting signatures to have a grand jury reopen the case. And because of the efforts of Inside Edition and Monica Hall and community members, we were able to find justice for Juliet. When the judge read the verdict, first they gasped, and then they began crying openly in court. I've waited seven years for this, finding out justice for my granddaughter. And Dustin Chauncey, the mother's boyfriend is now serving 80 years to life, in part because of our investigation.